I wish you all a very, very happy Republic Day. As we all get to celebrate our Republic Day once again, we are lucky. We are lucky to be a part, so fortunate to be a part of such a big, rich heritage country. India has the richest heritage. It is one of the oldest, oldest country with civilization in the world. Oldest. As I get to speaking engagements to talk about India, the more I read about my own country, the richer I feel. The richer I feel. You can only feel not rich if you don't understand your roots. In our school subjects, we do science, we do mathematics, we do computers, we do technology, we do engineering. But what we do not sometimes understand is the roots of our country. Where are our roots? Why do we say Namaskar? Why do we worship fire? Why do we bow before our parents? Why do we call our teacher our guru? Why do we touch the feet of our parents? Why? Why do we go around the fireplace, the sacred fire? Why when we, uh, for us marriage is sacred? It's not a contract. It's sacred. Why do we go for, around that? Why do we worship the sun? Why do we worship the moon? Why do we worship all the forces of nature? It all is because of our very rich heritage. Through the Rig Vedas, the Upanishads, the, the Puranas, the literature. They've got, of course, there are things which can be modified and improved and altered and understood. But we must know history, our roots. So we may be students of history, science, technology, computers, software, artificial intelligence. But if we do not know our roots, then we will feel rootless. A person to feel rich has to be feeling the roots, knowing the roots. Therefore, I suggest, even if you don't have the subject of Indian thought in your courses, in your schools, in your colleges, in your universities, read it. Read it from Wikipedia. Read it from Google. Read it from libraries and the books. Understand it from your teachers. When I was small, I wish in my graduation, I had honors course in Indian thought, Indian literature. I would have felt even richer. While I read other literature, I could have also read Indian thought. So happy Republic Day. Make us feel, make us know, make us understand that we are belong to a very, very rich heritage, very rich spirituality, very rich value system, which has all Aspects of today, the world struggling with climate change. If we were loving our Mother Earth, we worship the Mother Earth, we worship the sun, we worship, we value the trees. All that is now all movements. So my friends, on this Republic Day, let us resolve to strengthen the roots of and branches and fruits of this country. Root, branch and fruits of this country. And we are the fruits of this country. We are the young, our young men and women are the fruits of this country. The roots are our civilization, our thinking. So let us resolve A, to be intellectually sound, knowledge wise, intellectually, be better informed, even learn Sanskrit. Sanskrit does not convert us. Sanskrit actually makes us understand our roots because it takes you to the source. When you know a language and you read that book, it teaches you it, tell, it tells you, it does not dilute it. It makes you understand the real meaning right at the source without any loss of translation. I personally believe in that if there is one wish which is left in me is to learn Sanskrit. Why? It's not to be somebody, it's to be truly Bharatiya. Bharatiya ta. To, that I can, I may apna literature, apne Veda, Purana, Rig Veda, or Jainism, Buddhism, Sikhism, wherever there is Sanskrit, my friends. So let us resolve on this Republic Day, 1.3 billion to be 
intellectually very sound, spiritually very rich, the which we are, and to value spirituality is not spirituality is not faith in one system. Spirituality for me is being a good human being, a value-based human being who says the maste to the other human being, whoever the other human being may be, man, woman, old, young, rural, urban, does not matter. Rich, poor, no. Namaste means I say namaste to you, to your divinity, to you. Namaste means I bow before the divinity inside you. That is called namaskara or it's namaste. Namaste is a very strong part of Indian civilization. Namaste means I bow before you, the divinity within you. That is namaste, not go. It's respecting each other's divinity. That's to me real meaning of spirituality. We, let us be emotionally very strong, where we care for each other. We value duties over our rights. When we respect each other's rights, it is by performance of our duties. So intellectually very sound, spiritually very deep, emotionally connecting where we care for people, where we care for anything, we are grateful for all that we have. So, and be healthy, be healthy, have sound health, so that India is full of energy. India is a youth country today. Every youth is a source of strength to this country. Every skilled, every education is head, heart and hands. The real meaning of education is where you are intellectually better, better informed, in your heart you are caring, you are loving, you are honest, you are respectful and your hands are skilled to become shikshit, shiksaksha as under skill development programs. Government of India is giving all programs to make us make this 1.3 billion population to be intellectually sound, spiritually sound, skilled sound, educationally rich. All these are programs of Government of India. Value them. Go to the websites of different ministries. Download the websites. Value those websites. Apply for the scholarships wherever they are available. India, the Government of India and the state governments are offering many, many wonderful new news schemes and programs regularly. Listen to the All India Radio News. Listen to the Doordarshan. When you start listening to Doordarshan News and the All India Radio, which I never miss, I never miss the All India Radio News at 8 o'clock because I'm on the move. I listen to the news at 8 o'clock in Hindi, 8.15 in English, and then they're also in your other la uh, regional languages through FM. Listen to the news. You will know the different schemes which the government of India announces. So let on this Republic Day resolve to make India 1.3 billion spiritually sound, emotionally well connected, uh, skilled, skilled in every way and bodily very healthy. Ask not what JF Kennedy said. Ask not what the country can do for you. Ask what you can do for the country. Let us ask, what can I do for my country? Before we ask, when we all start preserving culture, valuing our elders, serving the community, believing in sharing, respecting the divinity in the other person, you will see India peaceful. Respect public property. Public property comes at a price. It's not private property. Public property is public ownership. Cannot destroy it. You are angry, you can be angry. Democracy is an expression of anger as well, but not by destruction, but by constructive behavior, by a dialogue, by speaking, by regularly conveying your meaning in many, many forms, but never letting anybody destroy public property. Not only is this an offense, but this is depriving others. When you burn a bus, you're depriving a poor person of the bus. When you are hurting a railway track, you're dislocating the whole movement of millions of people. No, we will not do that. We will, we will express we are the world's largest democracy. But the youth power means ethical power, emotional power, spiritual power, power of the dialogue, but not the power of any damage or destruction. India belongs to the youth of today. 
if the youth is emotionally, physically, spiritually, intellectually healthy, wealthy, it will be and it's wise. India will be the most prosperous country in the world. India is the largest democracy and a developing, further developing and developed. It is leading the world in information technology today. It, the world over is coming to employ Indian youth in yoga, in yoga, information technology. So the world belongs to us. Let us resolve that this Republic Day, every Indian will now recognize what I can do for my country not what the country can do for me. And once this spirit comes, everybody's rights will be protected. I will be the protector of my country so that my, I may uh, say anything, but I'll not let anybody hurt my country. If that is the message, every public servant doing his or her duty, going to the office in time, honestly serving the community and saying, what can I do for you? Because I have been paid by you to serve you. If this is the spirit which comes into each one of us, the next Republic Day, it will be India will be happier, more at peace with itself, and enough for everybody to to have, to acquire, to share. So remember, all education is three H: the head, the heart, and the hands. Strengthen your intellect, make your heart warm, and make your hands skilled. This is the message. I would like to share on this Republic Day. Once again, wishing you all a very happy Republic Day. Jai Hind and Namaskar.